Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do when the Windows 11 desktop is not responding. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration, as simple as it may sound, is to restart your PC. To do this press the Windows button then select the power icon and then click on the restart option. After your PC will restart, make sure to check if the problem still persists. And as I said, even though if this solution is super simple, it can solve a lot of issues. Moving on, you can also update Windows 11. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon, and afterwards make sure to click on Windows Update on the left pane, and then on the right side click on the Check for Updates button. Windows will now try to find the best possible updates for your PC, and then install them automatically. Afterwards, you can restart your PC and check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to run the built-in troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type Control Panel and then select it from the search results. Now in here, go to the View by drop-down menu and click on it and simply select the Large Icons option. Next, scroll down until you find the Troubleshooting section and click on it. In here, click on System and Security and afterwards click on the System Maintenance option. From here on, just follow the on-screen instructions and choose the appropriate response when prompted to complete the troubleshooting process. Then you can restart your PC and check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to update the drivers. To do this, right-click the Windows button and then select Device Manager from the list of options. In the Device Manager window, make sure to expand Display Adapters by double-clicking on it and afterwards right-click the problematic device and select the Update Driver option. Lastly, just click on search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to find the best possible drivers for your PC. You can then close this window and then restart your computer. Afterwards, check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to perform DISM and SFC scans. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. In here, copy-paste the following commands from the description below and then press enter after each command. Note that the scans can take a bit of time, so don't lose patience. Afterwards, just restart your PC and check if the issue still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to run the Windows Memory Diagnostic tool. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type Memory Diagnostic and then select Windows Memory Diagnostic from the search results. Now in here, the last thing you have to do is click on the Restart Now button and check for problems and then Windows will try to scan for any issues and fix them as soon as possible. Then you can restart your PC once again and check if the issue still persists. And that's it. Plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.